Welcome back, guys, to another All Things Nerd podcast. My name is Nathan, and let's take a look and let's talk about the upcoming Texas Chainsaw Massacre game developed by Gun Media. Let's take a look at the trailer, and then I'm going to give some thoughts on it. be crazy hey J J Johnny you, you ever take pictures of it when you're done I, I, I do it's real fun so I currently have the trailer on loop but let's talk about it for a minute well wow. <laughs> my first impressions of this game so far are blown away um, being a big fan of the original Texas Chainsaw, 19, you know, back in the 1970s, the the original film. I'm not from the 1970s, <laughs> obviously, but um, you know, watching the original Texas Chainsaw and then also seeing the remakes and Texas Chainsaw 2 and um, the 2000 versions, and then also Texas Chainsaw 3D, the most recent adaption of uh, Texas Chainsaw on Netflix and all that. I'm very excited for this game. So this is actually the same people behind Friday the 13th. Now, I will be honest, I am a little skeptical, and I think I speak that for most people, because of the crap fest that happened with Friday the 13th. I'm praying that this game will not be a mess, because they finally do have the rights for the game. You know, Friday the 13th, I don't really feel bad for Gun Media um, in a sense of, like, not to be rude, but I, I, I do feel bad for them in a sense of, you know, I wish they could have done more with Friday the 13th, the game. But at the same time, I'm, you know, they were already getting themselves inside of a mess with that game. So I'm hoping that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre will turn into, you know, something a lot more than just um, this legal battle that currently we're still getting with Friday the 13th. It's so sad, you know, what people do for money and the things that they'll rip out of fans' hands and, and all that. It's just it's just terrible. So um, a while back, we actually, I did a podcast um, months ago on when this video trailer was already, you know, was first released. And we, we kind of gave some thoughts on it, but I kind of just wanted to come back to it because uh, there's some things I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to play the trailer back and I kind of want to pause it here as we take a look at it again. So right off the bat, when you see a game that's based off true events, that already is terrifying, right? Drinking coffee, by the way, as we talk, so... That shot right here, that is a cool shot, you know. It's really cool how much detail they're actually putting into this game. And you can see the original house that the, the movie was filmed in. Man, there's so much detail going to this already. I just like the, the windmill outside, uh, the barn on the left side. You know, you got the house, and it's just, I don't know. The atmosphere already is pretty creepy. You know, it's kind of like that midsummer day in texas and uh you can kind of feel the heat as you look at this picture so it's pretty cool the detail they're already putting into this now right there if you notice a uh, leatherface's chainsaw 
um, you know, the developers already talked about that they actually found and they put together an original model of the original chainsaw that was used. So they're actually using the same sounds and everything for the game. So that's pretty cool. So, so far there's three characters announced for the game. Um, and I think there's more now that I haven't really talked about, but, um, you know, they're adding more original uh, family members to the killer family. So that's pretty cool to see. But, you know, of course, everybody wants to come for the originals, right? They want to see grandpa. They want to see the cook. They want to see the hitchhiker and also, of course, Leatherface. Now, my take on this game, it's going to be a symmetrical horror, right? So, you know, everybody's already comparing it to Dead by Daylight, but it's not Dead by Daylight. It's its own game. It is a four on three. So that's going to be interesting. And um, I'm hoping that with this game coming out, it actually boosts the scary horror movies in the more video game adaptions. Um, but I'm hoping we get proper games. Me being a huge Scream fan, <laughs> I'm hoping we get to see Ghostface in a video game one day. That hasn't happened yet. I mean, of course, we've seen him in like Dead by Daylight and stuff, but and Call of Duty, Warzone, and all that crap. But what I'm saying is, is I'm, I'm hoping that Scream will get its own video game adaption eventually. That would be really cool. I could see it. I could see a Scream game turn into like uh, The Walking Dead, um, The Walking Dead series. That would be kind of cool, where you do like a point clicks adventure. I'm not huge on those. I know a lot of people would like though, so I wouldn't complain if we did get one of those, but it'd be cool to get another. But anyways, let's keep watching the video. Enough about Scream. I could talk about Scream all day. <laughs> Man, if you, did you guys see that? I'm going to rewind here just a second. Did you see the detail in the house? Look at all the bones hanging from the ceiling and stuff. Oof, it's creepy. It's really creepy. I thought that was an interesting concept because I, if I remember correctly in the movies, they didn't have underground tunnels and stuff. So that's pretty interesting to see kind of how the family members got around so quickly. I think that's going to be a really cool idea. I know they talk about how there's actually going to be an escape route through the tunnels that you can get through. Now, what I'm curious to see is how easy it is actually to escape. I'm assuming it's not that easy, right? I'm sure you got to put a lot of puzzles and teamwork together. But uh, yeah, that's going to be cool with the coal underground tunnel system. Man, isn't that an iconic scene right there with the whole backdrop they got going on? Like, you guys see the detail they put in this home in the back with all the man, they really tried to match up every little piece of from the movie they could. This is a terrifying scene, you know. You got a guy here getting beat up by the cook, and then you got a dude hiding in the corner over here just watching his friend's demise. Like, huh, it's terrible. One of the things I'm not looking forward to in these games is um, getting left alone, like you versus all three of the family members. Oh, man, that's going to be creepy. <laughs> it's going to be terrifying, but it, it'll still be fun, though. Now, here's an iconic scene, right? Shot, right? When uh, What's-Her-Face in the original movie is jumping out the window. That's pretty cool. I wonder how fast the survivors compared to the family are when it comes to, uh, you know, how fast they can run compared to the survivors. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Leatherface is going to jog like a crazy maniac, right? Because um, it always seemed like in the movies they made Leatherface like this Olympic sprint runner compared to like the family members. So, <laughs> I'm assuming he's going to run really quick. Now, I know that you cannot kill the family members. You can only, like, stun them to delay your teammates and help them out. So, that's going to be interesting. I, 
I like that and I don't because I feel like it would be cool if you could at least but I understand why they wanted to give that feeling because it gives you like a sense of you're actually in a scary movie you know because sure in the end of most scary movies the villains end up die right like they get defeated but here it's like you're in a game where you're in their territory so it makes sense that you can't kill them you know so the game I, it doesn't have a release yet, date yet. I know it's coming out sometime this year, from what I've been told. I wouldn't be surprised if the game gets pushed back, you know. But we'll see. Um, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be a great time. I think it's going to be a... I don't know. I think it's going to be a... It's going to be thrilling. And I'm excited to see where this is going to go. But my only, one of my only big concerns is not only with Friday the 13th and how that ended, but how, how much content, you know, they, they need to come out with content kind of quickly, right? Because I think the game's shipping with three maps. It's the house, the meat plant, and then also the, um, the, uh, the gas station, right? But my thing is, after you played all three of those maps, you played the family... You play the survivors. What do you do? You're gonna run out of content really quick, right? So, I'm hoping, and I I'm assuming they're definitely going to come out with more content as the if the if the game hits off like it should. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm assuming we're gonna get a lot more content from the other movies. I definitely want to see content from the other movies. Um, it would be cool to see. I like Texas Chainsaw 3D. <laughs> Everybody hated that movie, and I understand why. Like that, well, what's that? What's that one iconic scene where it's like, "Do your thing, cuz." Yeah, that was really corny, but I don't know. I thought that was a good movie. Uh, a lot of people didn't like it. I liked it. I like this new one too on Netflix. That was that was really cool, especially the bus scene when everybody's getting chopped up, and he's like, "Do anything, you're canceled, bro." <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited to see where this game's gonna go. I think it's gonna be good, and uh, well. I'm glad we got to take a look at it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you excited for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre as much as I am? Uh, are you going to be purchasing it? Are you going to wait to see what other people have to say first about it because of Friday the 13th? I'm excited to hear what you guys have to give your comments about. And uh, anyways, guys, I will see you on the next video. Thanks.